Alright, what is going on lads? This is Vinny here and welcome to Until Dawn. This is a new series that I'm starting on my channel. I haven't done a playthrough of a full game on my channel for I would say maybe two, two and a half years, so I'm really excited to do this. There will be all the old videos, the Gary's mods and all that stuff, GTAs and the Dead Realms and everything, but I really want to do this as a little like side series. Hope you guys do enjoy this as much as I'm going to have recording this. I've heard really good things about this. I can't wait to do this and I hope you guys are excited as well. Until dawn, if you guys don't know if you guys have played Heavy Rain, I've heard it's kind of like that where you get to choose things in the game and it'll um, affect how the game is going to end. That excites the shit out of me because I am the most indecisive motherfucker you're ever going to meet in your life. Alright. Let's get ready, boys. Tuck yourself in. Shit's about to get real. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Bruh. All right. Your actions can shape how the story unfolds. Let's bring this closer for more dramatic effects. <laughs> God, I'm so excited for this. Your story is one of many possibilities. That's kind of what I was saying. Decision this game will affect how the game ends. Choose your actions carefully. Ah, fuck. Ah, this is not gonna be good. I am, this is bad because I worry because I'm like, I need to get the good ending. I need to make sure it finishes well. That is a, that is like house goals. Whoa. Hey, how you doing there, girl? What does she do to be able to afford a house like this? Can I move in? Please? Oh shit. Oh my god, slumber party! God. Can you believe god. Sally's tip? I can't believe it either. They're fucking ridiculous. Come on, she deserves it. Oh my god, she got her lips done. Who? Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl Em. Drama! <laughs> doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, dear me. The hood of housekeeping. Hannah! <laughs> what, they're playing hide and seek? Wow, the timing on that one, though. She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. You're totally not going to be able to find two people under a really exposed bed. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. How you doing? What the hell's wrong with her? Why is she not playing? Oh. She Why sees him. Us this weekend? Josh. <gasps> oh, I get to move that ass though, and I'm yoga pants or running pants or I know there's different kinds. Okay. So do I talk to you? Excuse me. Excuse me. You're fucking sleeping? Now? Oh my god, red solo cup. What's this? Press null to R2 to pick up the note. Alright. Right stick to turn over objects. Okay, so right stick. Hannah, you look so damn hot. <laughs> I can't take this here. You look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. God, Mike. Oh my god. Exactly. What did our naive sister get herself into now? <laughs> Fucking Direction Mike, man. Time. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell did I just click? My name is Beth, okay? This is very, very Heavy Rain-esque, and I love Heavy Rain so much because I freak the fuck out at Heavy Rain. So this game might start slow, but trust me, if this game thinks how I think it's gonna go, shit is about to get real very, very fast. Can I change camera? There we go. Okay, what have we got here? Jeremiah Craig since 1794. All right. It's very delicious. Did he fucking pin that shit? 
Really, Once Josh? Again, brother, you've outdone us mm. all. Really, Josh? Really? Really? I got your note. Glad you can make it. Oh God. That that creepy smile. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and we'll see where it goes from there. Oh hell yeah! This guy is such a twat. Is, oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. Is there an what? option to? Oh my god, Matt. Is there an option to punch him in the face? Here, uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, Let's all get out of here. Is there an option to punch this guy in the face being a fuck boy? You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! The guy has a GoPro and a selfie stick. Recording this shit. What? Okay, well, we need to move. 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 Wake you. Oh shit. Um. We need to find the others. How do I do that? We need to find the what? others. Josh has lost cause There's at this stage. Outside. What the hell's going on? Why is everyone running outside? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just That's... messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Don't use that excuse! Hannah! It's just a prank, Hannah! bro! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit, we have to oh, reactions and stuff. Square! Run your little heart out, laddie! Uh, uh, fast save, fast save. Fuck! Uh, 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 we need to go the fast route. Triangle. We need to go the fast route. It's just a prank, bro. Excuse for everything according to every YouTube prank video ever. Hey, I just killed your friend, but don't worry, it's just a prank. Uh, follow for friends, follow noise. Noise, because noise is right there. I need to get to her as fast as possible. Unless noise is him, in which case, shit. Man, fuck this already. Damn it, Hannah. Come on, Beth. Where are you? Use your tight little. There she is, there she is. So, are you gonna follow Shadow? She was just there. Follow the footprints. You saw her. Come on, Beth. You're better than this. Unless that wasn't her, in which case, shit. Phone, please. Okay. This is not a time for a selfie. Use a touchpad as shown. Okay. Oh, I use. Oh, I slide it with the PlayStation touchpad. That's kind of interesting. Hannah. 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 I just want to talk. Please come out, I swear. We're not gonna be pulling any more Elite Swag MLG pranks anymore. The video is already deleted. We're not uploading yet to the fucking deer. You are very, very, oh wait. Is that a shoe? Ah, uh, well, what is that? What the fuck even is that? The fuck is a death totem? Totem prophecies, black death. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams to, and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. Oh, holy shit. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. So we just, oh shit. So we just found a danger one, which means I have a possibility of dying. Well, that's not fucking fun. I'm really not a big fan of dying. Just shouting that out there. What are you doing? My bad. Not a big fan of the whole dying thing. Hannah! I'm not fucking around anymore! Hannah, please. It's fucking freezing out here. The video has already been deleted. Just come out, please. Where does this- why is, why was this pathway even created? Like, where am I going and where is this even taking me? Holy fuck! Fucking shit! What the hell was that? I don't know, but to be honest with you, I don't think Hannah can breathe fire. Heads up! Hannah, <gasps> Hannah. there she is. Hannah. Hello. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here. She's wearing fucking coat. nothing. Such a 
idiot. I'm so dumb. Uh oh. Run. Anna, we need to go. We need to go! Run! Run, Ben! <laughs> Fucking hell! That's where the fire's coming from! Hannah! No! Hannah! Get up! We have no time! No! My iPhone 6 Plus! Jesus Christ! I need to get back from my iPhone. So, oh, hell no. no. Oh! No. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, uh, to get something. No. Oh, fuck! <laughs> we might be okay. You just need to hold on. Hold on, Beth. Hold on. Hold on, Beth. Hold on. Hold on, Beth. Hold Don't on. let go. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Don't. Oh, shit. Do we take his hand? Ah, 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 jump harder! I can't let Hannah go! No! Let go! We have to let go! Both of us! We have to go! Ah! Please, to my default! I just broke her back. I just broke her back. Please be alive. Ah, fuck! It's the ending! Ah, oh, it's what the totem had. Oh no, that was the tutorial. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This uh -huh. is significant. And I want to help you see it through. If you're getting rapey vibes off this sometimes, man, please raise your hand. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Okay, okay, right. Mr. Rapey Man. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Will do. Will do, Mr. Rapey Man. Um. Wait, why am I wearing the glove like I was the rapist or the killer guy? Okay, that's a creepy scarecrow in a barn. Okay. So, how... Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, a little uneasy. It's still quite nice. It's the dark clouds. It's the fact that the guy, the scarecrow, looks kind of creepy okay. with a demented face. Honesty is good. What you know. Do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy. What is up with his eyes? Can I? It's the scarecrow. It is the scarecrow. What I see. I see. The game knows what's up. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. A week? I could because at the end of the day, it's just a scarecrow and it's meant to be scary. I could? I wouldn't want to, but I could, if that makes sense. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Nope. Bye. But that's deal breaker. Oh. Nope. Nope. All right. All right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of of the supernatural. 
What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of His face is creeping the fuck out. Please remember... This is only a game. It's not a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. I think. I have no idea. So that was the, the intro tutorial that really didn't go well. This music though. Welcome everybody to Until Dawn. I hope you guys kind of, kind of get what's going on now. It's a little, it's a little creepy. It's a little creepy, but. We should bring in for a good time. Until dawn. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners and updates on Marty. Annie and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He ran away! He against pursuing their construction project. The guy who did the prank ran away? Suck it! God, I knew I hated him! Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious this disappearance game looks so of good. and Beth Washington. Well, hello, Shit, this game looks amazing. Alright, let's do that again. Is that him? Alright. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's Thanks. beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um... He looks like George, means, George the Jungle. It means so much to me that we're doing this. And that... Uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that... I hate this guy we'll so much. Forget ...for... For the sake of my sisters, and you know, okay. So that was your sister, you fucking prick! Like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip, we will never forget. All right? Yes. You did that prank on your sister? You wanted to ruin the life of your sister. And you literally caused both of your sisters to die. Because it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. God, I hate this guy. Hey, look at Spoonerism. I, I get very, very into video games. I know you guys don't really see this side of me unless you watch my live streams. I get very, very into video games. That guy. <sighs> Back to Blackwood Pines. Game time. Momentum mode. It's ten hours until dawn. All right. What's your name, Sigurdith? Co 
Come on! Are you shitting me? We just got here! Don't turn around. Do not. Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, diligent. Okay, Sam. Okay. Hannah's best friend. And Hannah was the one Hello? that was pranked. Someone there? Sam, just keep walking. Path to cable car station. 9.02 p.m. Okay, you just need to make a shift on. Hi, bird. The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Oh, what? Right? What a fuck boy. Oh, Alright, let's climb over. So can we just get up here? Alright, climb up! Uh, we'll do it. This, oh, but there's a guy there. Quick. We'll do it the quick way. Okay, reaction has to be get, has, reactions have to be strong here. Uh, climb. Don't jump. Just climb. Square! I'm not good with PlayStation. Out a girl. Good on you, Sam. We're all pretty here. A for effort. Your participate participation medals inside. Now, whatever you do, don't jump and break your leg. You spanner. Or, or mind the fuck up. Okay, go. Staying over to this side, cause he was looking from the left, right? Come on, Sam. We both know what happened here. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. I can see Sam's a fan of nuts. <laughs> If you're unsure what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Alright, lad, we'll do that! We're just trying to make our way to the house. Like, I really just do not want to be out here. I don't know why she knows about this place's murderous past, but she's like, You know what? I'm gonna beat this squirrel I nuts. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of fu possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated by the nature of the prophecy. Black is a dreamer's death, red is events, brown is friends, yellow is guide, and white is good fortune. Alright. I will try and remember that, but knowing me, probably not. Yellow. That's good fortunes, right? Alright, here we go. Alright, so we'll look see. Wow! Crazy! We need to look for a bird flying around! God, that's insane! That's exactly what I wanted! Fuck fame, fortune, you know, a loving family. I need to see that bird! Chris? You here? Tramway. <sighs> Shit. Alright, let's have a look around. The pass is beyond our control. Yeah. Because there totally isn't someone watching you right now, Sam, and I really don't want you to be hanging around here. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even see this. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do Pick it up. Here? Pick up the phone call. We're gonna snoop. When you've changed the nar the narrative of the game, or nar he knows it. Chris. Hi, Chris. Has a crush on Astley. Methodical, productive, and humorous. All right. So he's a bit of a joker, eh? You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. All right. I thought you were funny. You seemed like a bit of a jackass to me. I did just kind of steal his phone, though, so... Oh, so... I found something kind of amazing. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. God, this guy's hilarious! This guy's a comical genius! 
Status update. Alright, where are you taking me, buddy? Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! <laughs> She's like... Yeah. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Oh yeah, Grizzly Adams, big fine. Now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. And before he shoots the guy. Oh, we're gonna shoot. All right, welcome everybody to Black Ops Three. This is Black Ops 3 DLC. Press R2 to shoot. Got it! Boom! Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Oh, God, the cringiness is real. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Shoot the squirrel! No, don't, don't shoot the squirrel. Do, do not shoot the squirrel! Do not shoot the squirrel! No, we're not shooting the fucking squirrel. Shot. You, right. she fed that squirrel. Yeah, You're not shooting it. You don't have a good. I don't, don't really have a good impression. You ready? Yeah, yes, I didn't use the squirrel. The hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Yeah. If you would have shot that squirrel, she would have been pissed. Like pissed. Oh, now we gotta play Chris. Okay. I can do that. Wanted. Clue found, wanted poster. Victor Milgram, six nice. foot two. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. We're 1998. Oh, come on. This place is most of the year. Nobody comes up here. No one comes up here. No one at all, apart from last year, where we all got hunted down by a murderous killer who's totally not here now. Chris, wake up! Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Yeah, sleeping in the station. All right. How the hell are we meant to get up here when we can't, when your guests can't even get in? Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. It all came flooding back to the time where your best friend died. Hey! hey! What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. And they bought a mountain. And they bought a mountain. Of course they're rich. They're meant to be on belief. The house is badass as shit. Ooh, is it a hot tub? Huh? Why? Why is? The, hold on. This is a security camera. Why do they have a security camera on the hot tub? That's kind of creepy in itself. Okay. I thought the car was closer. Anything else? Wait. Can we call it? Shit, I don't mean to do that. How do I change camera angle? Um, can I change this? It's a big mountain. Oh, I hear it. It's coming in. Hey. All right, Sam. Let's pile in. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but stay here and catch some Z's down here by yourself, or you could come up and not so die. The prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, a guy and a girl right. alone in a cable car? You know, Why did I put on the Mario voice? I was trying to get like hot and frisky these two, but. About us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I. I don't know, 
kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> bro, friend zoned. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Wow, what a crazy story! Tell it again, please! Match made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to someone entirely. Boom. <laughs> Butterfly effect. What a great story! <laughs> hey, do you know how we met? We met because we were fucking with a girl's bra. Dude, that's so fucking bro-like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, the stories. Oh, Murica. Oh, hi, Jess. Oh, this is Big Lips. Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting. <laughs> I did Wait. Irreverent. Irreverent. Not irrelevant. Okay. Irreverent. Okay, I thought that this game straight up said she was irrelevant. I was like, whoa. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. What a horrible thing to say. I was like, yeah, she, she's my new girlfriend, but she's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> oh, God. All right. <gasps> what the hell? Fuck. Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Press. Yes, press the button. Out a girl. She's a little bit oh of a bitch. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. God, Look, this guy's I hilarious. My bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Why are all the guys in this game fucking pricks? I'm with Mike now. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. As exactly. out, I'm in. Huh. Exactly. Easy peasy. This guy. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, nature you guys and junk. Go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. Ah, this see who game else is coming. Is really good. Hey, Mike. What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. Did you see this view? Holy I mean, shit. Holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Damn. So you they built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. Emily, Mike's ex. Shots fired. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. Okay. I like the way they're introducing everybody like this. Okay. Mike's ex. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And this is Matt. Hello, Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. So he's a bit of a jock then, or as you and Americans would call it. Boy when you need one? Washington Lodge Grind. But for the start, guys, uh, I'm going to end here. Uh, I tweeted out you guys want a 30 minute episode, so I try to keep it around there. But I will try and release these as often as I can, hopefully every day, every other day. Uh, we're going to try and play through the whole thing. It's the game, it starts slow, but I hope you guys saw at the very, very start, it's gonna pick up. The guy is here, shit's gonna get crazy. So, again guys, if you make it in this series, please leave a like down below. Okay, what are these guys talking about? Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. 
We're looking around, we're looking around, looking around. Yeah! But, leave a like if you want me to continue. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Well, I'm hosting... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you there already? Yeah, he...